Hey everyone, it's a quick demonstration of the LLM based BDD test automation tool called Hercules. I came across this tool a couple of uh, weeks back. I also had a call with the, um, the founder. So it uses the Gherkin feature file and without any code, it executes the test cases. That's their model. Let's understand the implementation part of it. So what it does is it gets our feature file in the form of a prompt and then it feeds that into an autogen 0.2. Autogen further utilizes all the dependencies that they have put in the framework. Autogen is the Microsoft's multi agent framework and it reads the prompt, it utilizes the resources, it distributes the task to multiple agents, it executes the task, and then at the end it shares the result. So there is no code involved in between. Let's understand the installation part of it. You can scroll up, you can see it uses Python 3.11. So I tried with the higher version, it didn't work. So you have to use the Python 3.11. Uh, if I can take you to my VS code, I've already installed Python 3.11. If you haven't installed Python 3.11 and check your version with this command, it should say Python 3.11. And now I have also created .env. So you have to create the .env. Actually, you have to create the folder first. Let me explain these commands. Once I explain the folder, let me open the folder structure. Create a folder name called project underscore base. Within that, create a, create a folder called opt and then input. You need to also create test underscore data under opt. Within input, you need to add feature files of the BDD that we write. And then within test underscore data, you need to write the test inputs like uh, URLs, uh, username, password. These are the two folders that you need to create under opt. The rest of the folder it generates on its own and obviously dot env as well once it is done check out to the framework and execute the first command open vs code and you can open the folder and then run this first command what it does is it creates the virtual environment under python and then the second command activates the zeus environment and this is the execution command but before we execute we need to install test zeus as well as the um, the the playwright basically it uses playwright for web browser and then mobile browser for for its uh, execution so let me open the document and show you the command so pip install test zeus hyphen hercules and then playwright install hyphen hyphen with i've already installed it but it's gonna reinstall if it has any updates you can see there are some updates if you miss any of the steps just follow through the document if whatever i have uh, mentioned this video is not working for you I'm going to run the a second command, which is the playwright. So playwright inbuilt it has all the mobile browsers and the mobile devices for uh, the um, mobile browser as well as the native, uh, I mean the web browsers as well. So that's what they are using as a base to execute the web automation uh, in the browsers. So there's a dependency with playwright. So whatever the playwright releases, they need to amend change here and you can see in dot env have added the variable line number one and three it uses the llm model called G gpt4.0 i can take you to their dependencies you can see they have a python pytest autogen uh, within autogen it it supports uh, grok gemini the various it's not just um the open ai's uh, gpt4.0 they also use other llm models but they suggest us to use gpt4.0 because that works very well in in the uh, for for this tool so now these are the dependencies that you can see on the screen they use uh, open ai as well now if i can take you back to open ai what you need is the token you need to log in to open ai website and generate the token you have to go to dashboard and then click on open ai keys generate the token now let me take you to the billing part so I have topped up. This is this is where the cost involved. I did spend around like twenty pound um, or twenty dollars in in dollars. It's nearly twenty pound I spent, if I, if I remember, to for this for this demo um, uh, purpose. So you can see I got uh, three dollars left. So the number of hits I make, it's going to burn my token. So that's LLM model. You need to specify GPT hyphen four dot o and then the API key here, and then. Keep the rest headless as false, otherwise you cannot see the browser, record video, take screenshot, browser type, and keep all the fields that you see 
on on the screen as as i have given i don't think anything else need an explanation and now i'm going to run the test case i'm going to pick the flip cart you can use hyphen hyphen input file if you want to specifically run particular feature file yeah so this is the feature file it will open flipkart website and it will search for apple airpods pro 2 and then it will select the apple airpods pro 2 and it will add it to the cart and check if the if it is not if the add cart button is not displayed it's going to check again and then confirm whether the item has been successfully added to the cart or not so that that's the this steps might not work from line number 8 to 11 the reason is if it opens in a new tab they don't have a feature that supports new tab yet but in my exercise it opened the website many times in the new tab and i i spent a lot of time wasting there without knowing that so during my call with them i understood that it does not support new tab yet they are working on it it's in the pipeline so i'm executing the test case as you can see it it, it launched the flipcart.com and there is no code behind it it's just the bdd test cases that we have there is no page object there is no step definition or there is no locators behind it it just runs based on my prompt in in the bd format and it entered the item name airpods pro 2 and it, it needs to check select that airpods uh, the first one that's the expectation so what it does it scraps through the entire web and then it checks where that product is if i would have to write it in the playwright for example this is in a table format so i may need to exactly tell the code to select the first uh, item on the list on the top um, in a first column of and under the first row but with bdd it analyzes it like a human so it it, uh, it predicts where that item is and then it looks for that item and it's going to it's going to select that item but the challenge i had is it did select an item but in the next screen it was not able to add it to the the cart the reason was it has few dependencies and it launched a new tab so in this demo if it doesn't open in a new tab it's going to work fine so as you can see it did click the item but it did not open in a new tab but at the same time i had few um, concerns here so if you look at the checkout uh, cart button over there it was not like that it comes after multiple attempt before that it used to be add to cart button not just the add, add to cart icon but this llm predicts what i wanted to do as an action item whether i'm able to get through the journey in whatever way possible and it might it will i hope it will click uh, the add to cart and then add the item to the to the cart so here's my first feedback this sort of llm based tools needs little more refining because the time it has taken to come to this stage is little longer in my perspective if i would have written an automation code it would have already completed by now so there needs to be an improvement that's one and the logic if your scenario involves multiple uh, complex logics then it might struggle and it may not act same way as it did in the previous execution and um, that's and that's my other observation latency is one and logical thinking needs to be improved and the consistency in the execution should also be there but i feel it it, it, it lags behind so i think they are they are working on it but it looks very futuristic so we are waiting for it to click on the add to cut icon on the on the left hand side if you can look at the terminal behind it will tell you what it does so now it added you can see there are two more items because when it adds the item the flip card suggests additional items that might require for this item so it just consider it, it just ignore that uh, it blindly added it but still it can it added the item to the cart and it's going to confirm that the item has been added to the cart which is good so this is so futuristic this llm based test executions i think it's going to come to the development as well but in in my point of view these are the improvements i spent quite an amount of time in order to write the prompt uh, to be honest it was not like within five minutes i have written the prompt and i got this thing up and running i have to be honest here i spent hours in figuring out um, maybe my prompt was not good enough but the time we spend on coding will be going to the writing prompt so now we can see the amount is 19,990 it, it confirms that the item is listed with the selling price and now the test case is success successfully uh, executed on the report part if you can go to output folder 
it does give give us the html report let me open that in the browser it gives the html report with uh, the clear information of steps and the past it's just a basic um, html report and in terms of the proof it gives us the video recording and snapshots so these are the screenshots that you get as part of the execution it captures the whole screen that's good and also you get the video recording as your test evidence that's again very nice that's a video recording so should we trust this at this stage i think the with the their plan is to um, make it as a SaaS, and they're making it as open source so anyone can contribute you can take a clone you can see if it works for you but um this is something we, we will see more in the other tools as well but overall it's like an uh, very futuristic idea and since it's an open source and the cost is on the open ai it's really good um so these are the dependencies again if you want to have a look but yeah so th th this is they also have the mobile which is in their pipeline this is um uh, uh this is in their uh, apm you can see they have recently added it they are yet to merge by the time i recorded they haven't but maybe i will try once they have merged it to the master and they have also given the video recordings for each of the uh, steps you can see api security visual validation everything is covered just like just by using the prompt all sorts of testing is covered that is really cool so i feel like it's going to be very um unique tool but um this is something you need to explore if if you can ac accommodate this for your application or for your use case but as a as an automation tester if i want if i i feel like i get more control when i write a code than a prompt but if the prompt gets refined and if it gets executed faster then i feel like uh, th this is how the future will look like like we're going to write the prompt and get things done so this are my feedback about uh, this tool so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one